concezione qualitativa del tempo e l'altro è la signoria del presente. C'è anche dice Protinus vive, vivi il presente perché l'unica realtà che esiste è il saggio nel presente trova tutto anche l'eternità. Questo messaggio parla poco al, all'uomo cristiano. Il cristiano ha tutta un'altra concezione della novità, della speranza. I classici non avevano la speranza, nec spe, nec metu, la spes. Dice Seneca in un frammento, quasi sicuramente di Seneca, spes, dolce malo, la spes è un dolce inganno. È una droga, la spes, è un dolce inganno, è bello ma non è vero. Don't invest your time preparing for life. According to Seneca, he who bestows all of his time on his own needs, who plans out every day as if it were his last, neither longs for nor fears the morrow. We are all guilty of spending way too much of our time preparing for life. Seneca pushes us to live right now, to not delay our happiness, to not think that happiness lies in the future. He criticizes those who think that they can work diligently until around age 60 when they finally retire and can be happy. Our future is uncertain and it's not in your control. The life in the future you're working towards may never come. We're so busy and worried about the future that we often let the present slip away, allowing time to rush past unobserved and unseized. And then, when we are old and on our deathbeds, we finally realize how short and valuable life is, left with the regret of not making the most of it when we could. Seneca compares time to a rushing stream that won't always flow. If you were in the middle of a desert, dying of thirst, and you came across a stream of water, but you're not sure when it might stop, wouldn't you drink as much of it as you possibly could? Just like water, we should use as much of our time as possible in making the most of our present. Your 30s, 40s, 50s and beyond are all worth planning, but don't allow them to take away the precious present. You can only live one moment at a time and you can only live it once, so choose to live in the moment.